Greenberg Traurig is a um, is a law firm. Um, it's one of the bigger law firms in in the world. We have about eighteen hundred lawyers, um, thirty nine offices globally, and um, the Boston office, you know, is a is a good size. It's about sixty five attorneys, and you know, we we focus on the, the whole spectrum of, of of legal services from litigation to corporate to intellectual property to um, tax, you know, what have you. You name it, we, we do it. You do um, it. Is and, there a TV uh, show coming, by the way? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I, I wish. You know, what's interesting is that, that in, in our office, we've, we've been visited by Hollywood a couple of times. Really? Looking for space to, to That's film. That's interesting. So, um, but, but, um, but yeah. Um, and in my, my practice, in, in, in particular, is in the intellectual property area. Okay. And, um, you know, what, what um, I do is I work with a lot of, you know, technology companies, and in particular, um, emerging technology, trying to take advantage of all the innovation that 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 is occurring in and around Boston. You know, uh, most of you probably know Boston is the the hub of innovation, and so there's a lot of opportunities for for us to work with these companies. And uh, education is a key to all that, right? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, it is. <laughs> I practice intellectual property law. Um, prior to practicing law, I actually was doing biotech research. Um, for a number of years, and um, decided that that you know it wasn't my it wasn't my calling, um, and um, law was 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 a nice transition um, with my science scientific background um, and, and and intellectual property in law in particular um, to, to to bridge that that gap between technology and and, and law. It's a point now where where um, you know each lawyer it's almost like getting a PhD. Uh, you know, we know absolutely everything about absolutely nothing. <laughs> 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 I was, you know, I was doing biotech research in uh, the Silicon Valley and um, for a couple of companies. And for whatever reason, the, the two law firms that, that represented the companies that, that I was with, they came up to me and they said, Ching, you need to lo go to law school. For whatever reason, and um, that's you know, interesting. Yeah, yeah, and and um, I thought about it because law was it never crossed my mind, I, and and always considered going to get a PhD. And then after I, I looked into the PhD program, I said I said to myself, "There's just no way I'm I'm getting a PhD," especially with hearing all the all the stories and all the complaints that I, you know, from from all the PhDs that I work with. And so I decided to go to law school. In addition to passing the state bar to practice as an attorney. Um, in order to practice patent law, you have to have a scientific background, whether it's a you know, science degree or an engineering degree. And on top of that, you have to take a specialty bar exam. And the passing rate, I remember when I took it, was probably like 20 to 30 percent. It's up to about 60, 70 percent now, but, but um, it's now all multiple choice, but before it was a written exam. But it's a, it's a fairly difficult exam to pass in order to, to practice patent law. Um, you know, I think that, that, that the, the opportunity that's, that's available for patent attorneys is just tremendous, especially, you know, with, with technology, you know, the way it is in the U.S., especially in, in, in Boston right now. Um, and, you know, the, the, there's just so many um, um, early stage startup companies that, that's popping up from the various universities around here. And uh, there are a lot of accelerator programs that, that's popping up. To, to create this ecosystem to help these early stage or emerging technology companies to accelerate towards commercialization. And, and um, it's just, you know, us having the opportunity to, to work with these companies is just fantastic.